Greetings everyone and welcome to ResRog, a new short series for the channel where we're going to be covering uh, this game. It's just released, though I was afforded an opportunity to play the game pre-release by the developers, so I'm going into this with a few hours worth of practice under my belt. Now, ResRog is... Well, it's a little bit of a, an interesting game to describe, really. It's very, very heavily inspired by tabletop kind of pen and paper sort of games. But it it's more that, that that's just like a surface inspiration. The, the meat and bones of this game is a turn-based dungeon crawler. Somewhat along the lines of roguelikes in that there are procedural dungeons going around and that sort of thing, but there's not permanent death as such because there's a very strong party mechanic. I think the best way of describing it though, or rather showing it, is to literally show it. So let's jump into the game. Now there's only one save file and I'm, I'm very rarely a fan of this. However, this game does have the ability for you to effectively restart. So we're going to disband my uh, Praxis file. Boom. There we go. Now, as I mentioned, very, very heavily inspired by uh, sort of tabletop gaming. And it, it, that's more of the feel that they've tried to create, the aesthetic, the, the atmosphere and ambiance. The mechanics are not very similar to uh, to tabletop role-playing, or at least no tabletop the game that I've played, save maybe something along the lines of Advanced Hero Quest. Now, as you can see, we've got uh, a, a band of heroes, and the, the story of this game is uh, suitably um, generic, in that, yes, good guys, bad things happening, good guys come together because they're all being chased by bad things, they find it a, a curiously abandoned inn set up for the night, then go off and do good deeds, more or less. This is the Hero Tavern, Sans Hero Tavern Keeper. Now, as he, as I mentioned, very, very uh, strong aesthetic of board games. Everything is, is token-based, and I actually really, really like this. This kind of reminds me of the uh, Dungeon Master screen for a pen and paper role-playing game sort of thing. Uh, you can do a lot of things here. Now, it's worth noting that e although you're a party, all of these characters, you're not, you're not like, this isn't character creation. This is your whole party, and you play with all of them. But they do have their own individual spells skills, levels, um, equipment, though you can share equipment, and in fact you can share skills. When you pick up a skill, you can give it to someone else, but only one person can have that skill. Um, we're going to jump into this though, and I'm going to go with, uh, let's see, let's go with something I haven't tried before. Let's try the mage. Very well, mage. Let's uh, go along. Your, every time you level up, you'll get your intelligence increased by two. Very well. So, to the world map. Now, the world map is gigantic, and so there's quite a lot to do here. Now, as I mentioned, there's no permanent death, and that's because the party mechanic is, is extremely um, tightly woven into everything you do in the game. If you fail, you get imprisoned in the dungeon in which you fail, and someone has to come along and rescue you. Uh, every dungeon has a random event. In this case, all potions and consumables will be 25% more potent. That's, that's quite a positive one. There are very 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 bad events all the way to very 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 good events for example um a very 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 bad event is monsters are immortal yeah you don't really want that one a very 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 good event monsters won't attack you so that's pretty good as well only you're not going to get much exp for example but uh this is just randomly generated now this dungeon we're in at the moment is the tutorial dungeon and it's pretty much exactly the same every time you go through it but after that it's completely procedurally generated and this is where i was saying it kind of has the feel of like games like advanced hero quest along those sort of lines where the the dungeon was literally uh, generated by rolling dice in a way uh right let's go over here and pick up our first bit of loot we have got a staff let's have a look at you uh it does a, a simple about damage it increases our strength which isn't really what we want but you'll notice there are token updates Oh, you've no idea how satisfying that is. I really like it when uh, a game updates the avatar based on what they're equipped with. Now then, and here's our first enemy. Um, I don't seem to be able to do much other than walk up to you and... Oh, never mind, I'm a mage. I can shoot things. That's pretty cool. I can shoot them from very far away. Marvellous, I say. Uh, in fact, I can just keep going. Even though that moved out of combat range... I could still attack it. Range characters, pretty OP in this. 
Though their damage doesn't scale as high as melee characters, they can project that damage from a very, very safe distance away. So, you know, uh, pros and cons. Now, this is the first skill that we're going to unlock, and it is Fireball. Deals 150% magic damage. Uh, sure, that sounds uh, pretty nice, actually. Can I use that? Sure, I can use it. Uh, it uses up my magic to do it, though, which is not strictly amazing. Um, you know what? Sure, let's just attack you there. Here we go. We're, we're not going to kite you around, though that is an option. And against a stronger opponent, probably would. Um, did I set myself on fire? I may have set myself on fire. That was a bit silly. Let's craft lots of mana potions. There we go. Now then, our second skill should be in here, just beside a wizard. Uh, don't really want to fight you, wizard. New skill, Ice Slab. Immobilizes targets caught um, in the skill for two turns and does 15% magical damage every turn. Oh, that's actually quite nice. Uh, mana cost is eight, though. Well, it's not the most expensive thing I've got, I guess. Uh, let me head back a little bit. Now, for those of you who've watched my Mana Boss series, this game does not have a kind of passive regen that I have seen yet. There may be gear that allows for that, though. Um, you know what? I'm going to open up hard with a fireball. Okay, that's, that's so not good. Um, can I catch both of you? Cannot use it. Target's too far away. Well, that's kind of frustrating. Can I? Nope. Not in line of... Ah, poop. Can I use it there? No. What? What do you mean is the... Scallywax. Yes, he is in line of sight. I tell you. Clearly line of sight. Right there. No. Too far away. Now? No. Now. Yes. Yes, I can. Ha-ha! Okay, now I've just got to try and survive for a little while. Uh, sure, I'll shoot you. Maybe just take you. Oh, really? You're out of there already? That's not so good. But I've killed your little minion. Unfortunately, you did a lot of damage to me. A lot more damage to me than I could do to you. Oh, the scallywax. I are dead. Major has been imprisoned. Return to tavern. Now, I would like to say that I did that intentionally to show you how the, the whole imprisonment stuff works. No, it's just that I've not used that class before and it didn't play quite as well as I thought. Uh, we're going to take out the archer. We're going to stick with the range for this, but now there is someone locked in there. Uh, it tells us who's in prison there, and we can go and let them out. Now, I'm assuming that if everyone got imprisoned, that's it, game over at that point, permadeath. But up to that point, you've got a lot of lives. But it does mean that you really shouldn't neglect leveling up any of your party members, because if you do, then there's a, a solid chance that when the time comes that that party member needs to be the one rescuing your, you know, super ultra-leveled favourite, that uh, they're not going to be able to, and that would kind of suck. Uh, let's wait for you. Oh, no, you're moving this way. Very well. Um, I'd rather not take you on right there. I'd rather shoot you from afar, honestly. Okay, you're really not going to play this game with me, are you? No. You're like, no, 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 no. I, I'm, I, I just want to kind of spit slimy goo all over the place. Now, these vents that you can see here and there, they are actually um, environmental hazards, and you can interact with them and generally take damage. Same with fires on the floor and stuff like that, though. That's a brazier. You can't really step on that one. I mean, you could, but you'd have to be expressly saying, yeah, I want to step on a brazier, which is a bit dumb, frankly. Uh, now, one nice thing about uh, uh, rangers or, or melee combatants, that sort of thing, is that their abilities are largely uh, based on stamina and cooldowns. Uh, well, effectively based on, on cooldowns. So you don't have to worry about not having enough mana potions to, to keep the fight going. And that is something you need to be concerned about with a mage. Uh, we've got some mana potions. Again, this dungeon is always the same way. And there's always two skills that you can find. One for each class, effectively. Now, you'll notice that I'm not going to unlock a third skill slot until level 10. So, you know, I'm, you're not going to be completely OP if you go in and just, just start gathering all sorts of uh, abilities from all of the other classes. That, unfortunately, won't work. Now, we've got... 125% damage or 120% damage. So we'll go with this one first. 
Open up. Oh, wow. We did a lot of damage there. Okay. Uh, then we'll follow up with this. That selected uh, different um, opponents. It'll select up to three targets. Hello. I'm here to release you. Yes. Yes. You have been shamed by your failure. I'm also going to release you. I mean, I don't know why you ended up down here, Tavern Keeper, but you're released anyway. Now then, we have got ourselves uh, increases strength and luck, actually. That's a pretty nice piece of armor there for this early on. Okay, well, moving onwards. Nice little treasure chest there. Getting us some fat loot. Hello. Oh, I'm not going that way then. Okay. Now we can chat with them. Let's get out of this dungeon. All right, all right, all right. You, my lord. You're lucky I stopped to get, let you out. Uh, okay, given everything, let's go for armor, since we've already got a, you know, a reasonably okay weapon. Uh, it would be nice if perhaps we could end up with, like, a, a hat or something like that, or maybe even a trinket. There we go. Now, two characters are at, have tried this level. The archer and the wizard. Not that the wizard did very well. Uh, okay, so, let's have a look at this box we got there. Oh, it's just regular leather. Oh, that's a shame. Well, actually, increases agility. What does agility do? Uh, range weapon and dodge chance. Well, actually, that's a little bit of a better one for us. It increases the chance to get better quality and more loot. That's nice. Strength increases damage when using melee weapons with critical hit chance, and endurance increases character health. I am going to pop a couple of points into character health, and then a little bit more into agility. Uh, frankly, is that one arm? Yeah, it is. Okay, so that is better armor, though the stat it's buffing is not the best for this character. Now, we could purchase this so that I could give this to other characters. There's definitely a part of me that wants to. Um, but, you can go to the, the trader, and we can acquire an unknown we weapon. We don't know anything about it, it just costs 70 gold, it's basically gambling. Or we can get a guaranteed uncommon weapon. Likewise, we can get guaranteed uncommons for armor. But the first thing I'm going to do is actually try and get a full set of armor. So, let's grab you. What are you, then? Um, increase your strength. It's unfortunate, but okay. Uh, these can be used to level up skills over time. Now, these, obviously, are potions. Uh, I would actually like some strawberries for 150. Uh, I don't need mana right now. Now, trinkets. Uh, sure, I'll purchase... Hmm. I'll purchase you, and I'll purchase you. Expensive, but I think it might be worthwhile. Let's see what we got. Uh, intellect, not really our stat, honestly. And agility, hooray! Something for us. Wonderful. Now, we're on our way to level 2. If we actually have a look at our skills, we will find that under... Where would it be? Range, here we are. So, these are actually... Are these air skills, then? Um, this uh, doesn't actually tell me. There's water, fire, air, earth, shadow, fist? I, I, don't, I don't know. But I'm very certain that these are counted as air skills, which uh, kind of makes sense in a way. Um, they'll require these gems to upgrade, but slowly they'll increase in level, and at that point we'll be able to upgrade them. And, you know, they'll, they'll just do a flat uh, benefit of some sort. Uh, so with this, yes, I think we've got enough time to go on to the next level. This is the Legacy Fortune. Now, you'll notice that one point has already been spent. This is the only thing that carries over when you disband a party. Your Legacy um, stats. Uh, so you could just spend these through a run to make permanent improvements to your characters. And that way, if you did have a full party wipe, I, something I haven't experienced yet, so I'm, it, it's guesswork at this point, but I'm assuming this is why this is here, is that you could effectively start the game again, but with characters of a much, much higher level. So, uh, sure, I'm going to I'm gonna forge a uh, Legacy Gem there. There we go. And I cannot forge another because I do not have that and I do not have enough money. But with the Legacy Gem, I think we should... I have a point to spend, so sure, I'm going to put that into endurance. Let's uh, get that up a little bit higher. There we go. Uh, oops. <laughs> I keep doing that. That is not the first time, not even like the 20th time that I've done that, where I've clicked on this to go over to the map that's behind the door, but instead exited out of the game. Thankfully, the, the load screen is like instantaneous, so, you know, I guess I'll forgive you, game, for tricking me. 
over and over and over again. Honestly, at this point, it's more that I've just not learned my lesson. Okay, then, let's see what this dungeon has in store for us. Uh, we have got increased the gold looted from containers by 25%. That is actually too bad. Our new helmet is equipped, giving us an extra bit of strength. I mean, it might increase our critical damage a little bit. Okay, uh, right, let's uh, continue to move around. Oh, that's another thing, actually, I haven't really touched on. The map. Let's bring up the map for a moment. Look at that. If that doesn't scream tabletop, I, I don't know what else. As I said before, whilst this game seems to draw its inspiration in, in more of a graphical, artistic sense from tabletop games, wow, this, this game manages to capture the essence and atmosphere of a tabletop better than many games with, whose mechanics mirror tabletop games. I would say that this game's mechanics are reasonably far away from tabletop games, though. Um, or at least, again, as I mentioned, any tabletop games that uh, I've played, certainly. Uh, sure, I'll try and take you out. Since I can only see you, all three of the shots will go for you, which is quite nice. Um, where are you gonna go? Well, yeah, where are you gonna go from there? Oh, fantastic! You actually went straight over the effect there. Perfect. I should have moved back first. That was a bit of damage I didn't need to take, frankly. And uh, where are you gonna be? I'm gonna be able to catch you. Uh, you got a little bit closer than I would like. Can I possibly take you out from here? Yes, maybe. Wow! Uh, you will be within range to hit me in a moment, but. Uh, honestly, I've done so much damage now. It doesn't really matter. Now, not everything in the dungeons is interactable. There's nothing I can do with that, but certainly an armor stand is. Let's see what you've got. Ooh, some shinies. New ring. This gives me strength, so I'll take it. And terrible cloth of armor. Yeah, no. No thanks. However, you, on the other hand, ooh, very nice indeed. Okay, so what are we going to find down hither then? We shall discover no enemies in particular. We have got to uh, um, get the key. That's our goal in this dungeon, is to find one broken key. And that would also be what we would need to find in order to rescue any people who had been imprisoned in here. Thankfully, there are none. Uh, let's go ahead and use my large attack. Fantastic. Gonna come back down here. Can I possibly get you to join me? No, maybe. Come on. That's right. Just no. Oh, you scared me. Come on then. Hello. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna shoot you from there. There we go. Uh, sure, we'll shoot you from here. This will be 120% worth of damage. And yeah, we've already won this. You will get one hit in though. But that's fine. I think we can allow you one hit, just so you don't feel terrible when you die. You can feel like you actually, you know, you you, you made an impact. You did stuff while you were alive. Uh, this is intellect as well, that's a shame. Got another cloth armor, nope. What about you? Agility increased. We would lose the strength and the luck, but the agility would go up. Ooh. And it's the same level of armor, actually. Same there. Okay, that, that isn't too bad. That is not too bad at all. We've lost the, the luck trait, though, which means that we're not going to have as much fun finding awesome shinies. Oh, well. Now, I've not actually gone far enough into the game to know if the um, kind of scenery and textures ever change. Uh, yeah, no. Let's let's leave you back down here, shall we? Uh, no, no, no. Come on. Put your head up. Thank you. That'll do just fine. And I will shoot you from very, very far away. Far too far for you. He moved closer and then immediately moved out of combat because even by moving one step closer, he was too far away. I feel a bit of a jerk. But that, this is what an archer is. A bit of a jerk. Just kiting everyone. Anyone who's ever played PvP in any kind of MMO knows that archers are jerks. And that's why we play them. Hello. Uh, prison cells. Ooh, someone over there. Okay. There we go, and you're probably going to be dead with the most. There we go, perfect. Now, let's have a quick gander at who you are. Hello. Who be you? Are you a new character? 
I have no idea, but I'm intrigued. Uh, let's head down this way. And see what we can see. Every room seems to be connected by corridors. They, they never... Um, a, a room never leads directly into another room that I've ever found. Okay, that's the way out. Let's have a look at our map, shall we? Uh, the only place is... It's been quite linear up until this point. So this is really the only place that that key could possibly be. Very well. I accept. Let's go and see if we can't find someone to slay. That may hold, or may not hold a key. Also treasure. I wouldn't mind finding some treasure as well. Mm, don't like this too, too much. Uh, can I hit you at all with that? No. Okay. I'll hold position here. You know what, sure, we're going to just attack you all the way, and then pull right back, let you follow me. No matter how far back I move, I'm not going to get out of your range. The main thing is that your ally is not with you anymore. There we go. Now, if we just move up, we can probably get you into a fight again. There we are, perfect. Absolutely glorious. And we moved through the uh, poison vent there as well. There we go. Wonderful. Right, what are we going to find? Uh, I don't think we can interact with this at all. No. The pillory is... Or pillory. I'm not actually sure if it's pillory or pillory. Uh, uh, pillory or pillory. Uh, or if it's just stocks. That's honestly what the, the word that I was taught for it. But uh, Hello. I wish to shoot you. So if you could like, line up. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, really? I can't shoot through those things? Stupid stocks. Oh, damn. Uh, nope. Still not in line of sight. Wow, this sucks. <sighs> I mean, I got a bow and arrow. One would assume that that would allow me to shoot diagonally. <sighs> oh, well. Maybe I can only shoot diagonally when they're in combat with me. Oh, no, no, that's not the case. Scallywax. I mean, I would have accepted it if that had been the case, even though it's still dumb. But oh well. That's done. Uh, next room. Now, this one should be the one with the key in. Or it's going to have lots of doors. <laughs> it's going to have lots of doors. Never mind that. Uh, yeah, I'd like you to come to me, honestly. Um... Super like you to come to me. There we are. Perfect. I will shoot you from this far away. See, the fact that I can shoot that far when... Oh, it's too, the target's too far away. I can't I shoot it regularly then. But the fact that I can shoot that far when the enemy isn't even in combat, not being able to shoot over a couple of tiles of diagonal is just... It's a little bit grating. I, I will confess. <laughs> Silly. Archer. Uh, right, let's see what we got down here. You can sometimes just be immediately drawn into combat when you open the door away. Don't assume just because you haven't entered the room yet that you're safe. Uh, there we go. You took a lot of damage in order to just run over that. So I'm completely fine with it. That one should finish you off. There we are. Um, do we have much in the way of potions? I'm going to have one strawberry. We'll just re regen mana for a little bit. There we go. Oh, we've gotten more strawberries. Marvellous, I say. But yes, this is only the second level. The thing with the procedural uh, um, levels is that some of them are super sh small. And then other ones, is it, it just keeps rolling the right dice to make it, make it a gigantic room. So, uh, don't go into any level assuming just because it's an early level that it's not going to be particularly large. They can be a gigantic. There we are. Uh, let's go and see what's behind on this door. Ooh, just as well I turned the, the camera there. That is a dart trap. Wouldn't have been nice. Would not have been nice. No, no, no. Take you out if you can. Um, can I shoot you? Yes, I can. That's fine. I accept. Uh, and then we'll just fill you full of arrows from this far away. I wish I could interact with the bed and just heal, but alas, no. Uh, what should we find over here? We're getting lots of monsters killed here, though. The map must be gigantic at this point. Yeah. The exit point is all the way back there. We're going to have a lot 
long journey just to get back to where we came from. You do have scrolls, however, that allow you to teleport to the end, the end of the uh, level if the conditions for victory have already been met, which is quite nice, actually. Uh, sure, let's take you on. There we go. And follow that up by this. I'll probably shoot between the both of you, so that's fine. Ooh, the camera went a little bit wonky there. Uh, let's continue on the move. <laughs> what? Lies! Lies and fabrications! You scallywag, you. Um, can I shoot from there? <laughs> Lies! Lies and fabrications! Uh, oh well. Um... Let's keep drawing you back for now. There we go. You're going to be fairly easy for me to take down. Actually, yeah, you were much easier than I was expecting, in fact. Uh, take you on, and you'll be dead before you ever get any closer. The AI on those guys is really rather dumb. It will always use its first turn, unless you're in combat with it, to use that gas attack. Right, what are we going to find in here? Another one of you. Glorious. There it goes. A couple of shots. And... Um, no. Actually, I'm not going to step in that for you. I will, however, let you hit me. Because, frankly, it's faster this way. There we go. Thank goodness their area of effect uh, ability wears off. Once you uh, do damage them. Though, I'm a little bit concerned that I haven't found the key yet. Oh, dear. Where have I missed? What room haven't I gone to? Are there secret doors? Let's have a look. Is there a chest that I haven't opened? Um, there may well be a chest that I haven't haven't opened. Okay, time to search. Okay, at this point I have searched everywhere on the level and have not found another chest. Is it possible that these levels can be generated in an unsolvable way? That would... I would not want to assume that. It could be a bug, which isn't particularly good either way, but it's a lot better than, than assuming that the... Uh, oh, what? I could have just... What? 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 Oh, well, okay, you know, I accept. I accept that. That's a hell of a lot better than what I was worrying has happened, and that was that the levels were unsolvable and that they could just be randomly generated that way but it looks like i didn't need a key or i always had a key and i just need to open the bloody cell ah uh, yes let's get out of this dungeon ah uh, i almost made a silly of myself well we'll talk about it on our way back to the tavern assuming you're coming with there we go we got a level up as well fantastic um sure let's go for another weapon let's see if we can get a better weapon than the one we've got there we go Okay, and we have unlocked the third dungeon. Fantastic. I am very, very happy that I was just being a derp and that the game A, hadn't bugged, or B, wasn't capable of auto-generating dungeons that couldn't be solved. That is such a better solution. Just Avac being a derp. Uh, we're all used to this at this point. Uh, came away with a decent bit of uh, cash and a lot of points. Uh, I'm going to pop a good number of these into, well, Maybe I'm not going to put that many in. I'll put three in and then two into Endurance, I think. That'll actually be quite a nice setup there. Okay, now you can sell to the uh, merchant. Uh, sure, I'm going to sell all of these really basic things. However, these I will keep. Uh, because they can go to someone else. Now, is there anything particular I want to grab? I could get a sealed wear armor. 300 though. Sure, okay. What have we got? We have got some <laughs> strength endurance. Oh, it's kind of oh, I guess it's good enough for someone else. Uh, right. In terms of items down here, we could go for a guaranteed necklace. Um, endurance? I mean, I guess. I guess it's better than nothing. It's certainly better than a kick in the face. Uh, right, let's go with you then. This is now boarded in. Uh, orange, which means that it is in need of repair. There we 
go. We're paid. Now, how are my skills doing? Power shot can be upgraded at this point. So it's 16 to 25. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade that. 17 to 25. Really? That was the upgrade? Wow. This game really trickle feeds you the power. Okay, so we're, we're not going to be uh, becoming OP anytime soon. But I think that's uh, a good place to wrap up this first episode. Do let me know what you're thinking about the game down below in the comments. And if you'd like to see more, and if so, which characters you'd like to see me uh, showcase. But until then, and as ever, do remember to leave a like if you liked, sub if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.